Kobe, I've got some bad news for you. <coughs> you stink, your fur's all messed up, and you got burpees. <coughs> We're gonna have to take you to the groomers so you can get nice and fluffy again. And guess what? We're bringing your sister as well. Listen here though, Kobe. If you're a good boy during your groom, later on today, we're gonna give you a choice. <coughs> you get a choice of going to the pet store or a muddy dog wall. We got a deal? Yeah, deal. All right. Groom time! Kobe Mikey! Oh, very excited. I bet if you two knew where we were going, you wouldn't be this excited. <laughs> All right, come on in, dogs. Let's go. Let's go for your groom so you're both going to be nice and fluffy and handsome and pretty. Oh, you're going to be looking and smelling so good. Cubby. Oh, you're excited. You're going to be a handsome boy. Oh, you're already a handsome boy. You're going to be even more handsome. Okay, so Kobe's first grooming, honestly, way too long. Kobe's in good hands today. His groomer's called Frankie. She's huge on TikTok and is going to get Kobe looking golden again. <laughs> honestly, I think he secretly likes it. Like a little spa day for him. But then he gives me the look. It's the look of disappointment. Did we really drive all this way just for me to get groomed? Come on, Dad. Kobe shed a lot, especially as it's coming into the springtime. When the summertime comes around, oh boy, this house is literally covered in his fur. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Get this off my head. <laughs> this little spiky bits on his head. <laughs> gonna be interesting. <laughs> Grooming him definitely helps a lot. All the shampooing, conditioning and brushing helps get rid of his loose fur. Kobe was having a great time as you can tell. Moki came over to see how her big brother was getting on. Definitely thinking you're not getting me in that time. A quick towel dryer for Kobe and every dog's favourite part is next, the dreaded hair dryer. Let's be honest, most dogs hate this part of the group. The hairdryer is super loud and it probably feels like a hurricane in their face. Moki looking very worried here that her brother is in trouble. She came to check on him as he was getting out the tub, just to make sure he's all good. <laughs> More of the hairdryer for Kobe. I think he tries to enter Zen mode to block out the noise. Frankie was so good with Kobe. Lots of praise and love for the good boy. So far, Kobe is definitely on track to get his reward at the end of this group. I'll be honest, it doesn't surprise me. Kobe's like the perfect first child. He never really does anything wrong. You're such a good boy, Kobe. Well done. Kobe's basically one giant fluffle. It took so long to dry him. One hour later. It was so good just standing there and letting Frankie do it. Two hours later. He was so over the hairdryer. He was used to it at this point, but I think he just wanted a change of scenery. One eternity later. Moki's come back again, checking once again that everything is going okay. I couldn't believe that we actually managed to go that long without strapping Kobe in. He decided he'd had enough, so one Kobe now secured. You're doing so good, Kobe. I'll be honest, I never really noticed how much his fur around his paw pads had grown out, but after Frankie trimmed them, oh my god, it's a lifesaver. Dirt doesn't stick around them anywhere near as much. He needed this real bad. I get scared to do them myself because I don't want to clip too far down his claw and hurt him. Yeah, that's right, he's still not dry. He's got so much fluff. It's 
some more trimming around his little toe beans. Nearly done now, Kobe. Oh, you're looking so handsome. And because you've been the best boy, you're definitely getting that surprise when this is all done. Oh, he's trying to give you his other pull. He knows the drill. Some more cutting of his toe beans. This brush that Frankie was using was literally one of the best grooming brushes I've ever seen. You could see how much fur it was shedding off Kobe, and it's not like it was just pulling his fur out, it was getting all his undercoat that would usually shed anyway. Fun fact, Golden Retrievers actually have two coats. This is why they still try running into puddles during the winter. You're looking so handsome with fluffy coat. We're generally pretty good at keeping Kobe's ears clean. Wax can build up in there, so always good to double check. You're nearly done now, Kobe. I swear, if you pick to go on a muddy dog walk after this, boy. His tail got a little trim. As a golden owner, their fluff is their pride. They always look so much better all fluffy. So we asked Frankie to only do a little touch up. Well done, Kobe. You look so much more golden now. Damn, Kobe, you look good. Look how handsome you look now. Are you nice and handsome now? Can you go down? Oh, Kobe, look at you. Huh? Yeah. Oh, was it worth it? Yeah. All right, Kobe, no surprise you were the best boy ever. As promised, we're going to give you a choice of two things. A trip to the pet store, and yes, we have put it in blue and yellow on purpose because they can only see that colour. Or a muddy dog walk. Kobe, please, do not pick this one. Right, let's see. One treat on the pet store, one treat on the muddy walk. Wait, Kobe. Yes, gone in. Oh, thank God for that. The blue and yellow paid off. Pet store it is. The rabbit. You see the rabbit? Yeah, what's all of that? Hamsters. Russian dwarf hamster coops. <laughs> the toy that. Who? What toy do you want? Hmm? What toy do you want? He's like, I just want to see the gerbil again. <laughs> <laughs> you want to just go see the gerbils? Alright, come on then. Want to go see the gerbils? Oh my god. Alright, here you go. If this is what you want to do with your time, knock yourself out. Boy. Come and look, the little rabble. There, come upstairs. There, look. I'm not scared of anyone. Aww, oh, cubs. <laughs> Good boy. Likes him, didn't it? Hey, bro. 